Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to talk to you about this poster that I made that's on the screen. I'll put it on the screen somewhere. Um, I posted this on Instagram and Twitter and I made a reel about it as well. Every time I've shared it, uh, it's done pretty well and people always ask about the textures that I used in this poster. So today I'm going to show you how to blend the spray paint textures in this way, uh, where to get them because I made them and they're free. This is the post that I just had on the screen. Um, I just opened this up just to show you the kind of detail that the textures that I'm about to show you have got. I really like these textures. They're some of my favorite textures I've ever made. To get the textures, you're gonna wanna go to studiotriplea.com and to get here, just click on categories and go down to textures, which is just near the bottom. And the pack you're looking for is spray scans. So there's obviously two versions of the pack. If you click where it says version, I think it'll default to full. Uh, if you just click here and just click free add that to your basket and check out and you'll get the free version of this pack paid version is obviously a lot bigger than the free version but you can get by in today's tutorial with the free version just fine i've obviously got both versions here but in this tutorial i'm going to use one from the free pack and i'm going to use one from the full pack so to start off with the text that i had in this poster it says graphic design is dead in the background i used a font called sequel black for this uh, i'll put a link to it in the description somewhere but it's not a free font if i remember right i think it's quite expensive so um i'll try and find like an alternative and put that somewhere in the description as well obviously you don't have to copy me you don't have to remake this poster one for one you can use your own uh text or whatever you want so for this poster that's near enough i'm happy with that whatever it's probably not bang on clearly just going to swap the colors around so the background is black and the text is white which will be important for how i'm going to blend this so you do that bit as well the first way to blend this i'm going to show you is like the easiest way to blend any spray paint texture uh from this pack or probably anywhere else really. Uh, the one I'm gonna use is from the free spray scans folder and it's texture number three. So I just drag and drop that in, scale it to a little bit bigger than the document so you're not getting any of the white edge or anything. Put it above your text layer, go to blend modes and select difference. So if you see any of my Instagram carousel posts uh, where the spray paint texture is blended in, that this is literally all I do. Sometimes it helps to add a gradient map on top with just a normal black to white gradient on it. It does become a little bit subtle at this point, so you can obviously open up the gradient editor and like pull these sliders around. You can pull the black to the middle and it becomes like quite gritty and stuff. Uh, but the text will obviously be quite dull and you can get the same effect by pulling the white into the middle but uh, the background becomes quite washed out but yeah that's the first and like most basic way you can do this so for now i'm going to hide that layer and show you the next way the way from the poster that we spoke about at the start of the video um, i'm just going to duplicate the text layer hide the original then on the duplicated version just go to fill turn that down to zero percent and everything will, everything's gone now uh, but that's fine then we're going to add a layer style so click on the fx at the bottom click on stroke and i'm going to go a little bit stronger than i usually would because i know sometimes in the recordings things don't come through too well um so i'm gonna go for six pixels for you this is gonna depend on what document size you're working in um so just try and get it to look about the same as mine uh, i'm in 2160 by 2700 at 300 dpi if you're around the same then six pixels should be fine and then i'm just gonna turn the opacity of the stroke down again like numbers aren't specific here it, it can be whatever because you can change it later but i'm just gonna go for 75 percent and press ok and then back to the spray paint texture folder uh, i'm gonna use one that i used for the original poster which is spray scans number seven this one here um if you're using one from the free pack try use one with a bit of shape to it or just one that has like quite a of white around the edges like this one does drag that in scale it up and then you're going to change the blend mode on this one to hard mix now obviously this looks awful uh, but don't worry what you really need here is this kind of pixelated gritty stroke effect on your text layer i'm just going to try that out as well with one of the free ones so just for if you're following along with this video using these textures i'm going to go for the three spray scan two i'm just going to do the same i'm just going to go hard mix what I'll also do there is just completely desaturate that as well. So it's a similar kind of effect. You've got this horrible, like, it's supposed to look bad at this point, so don't worry. Horrible, gritty, pixely, hard mix edge on the text. Once you've got that, all you then need to do is turn on your other layers again. So it should look how it looked before. Then go to your original text layer, the one that you created to start with, and turn the opacity down to whatever you want. So depending on what colors you're working with, uh, the weight of the font, how 
how it looks, where it is or whatever, you, you can pick this on your own. Obviously in the original, I think I've gone somewhere like around 30 or 40 percent. So I'll leave it around that for this one. Yeah, that's essentially it. That's how I made the original poster that I shared that you might have seen on social media. The only other thing I might do here is just add a curves layer, just so you've got a little bit more control over like how much the texture is coming through uh, in between the shapes here and stuff like that. That's really personal preference. You can do what you want from this point. All I've really done from here uh, is just add the elements on top like um there's a couple of, like quotes at the top uh, a little smiley face somewhere and i think the triple a logo on here as well but yeah i really like this effect i'm really really happy with these textures that i made last summer um usually every summer i make spray paint textures and this summer well last summer just gone 2022 i just thought i'd make some of them free so hopefully this helped if you enjoyed the free version uh, and you decide to get the full version of this pack thank you i really appreciate it i'm a little bit ill today so if i sound a bit weird in this video or if there is some weird editing i'm probably gonna have to cut out a lot of coughing uh and sniffing and things like that um but yeah thank you for watching as always subscribe to the newsletter all that stuff thanks for all the re recent support on here some of the videos i've uploaded have done pretty well so i really appreciate it uh and see you in the next one